I got there early and it definitely paid off. Hey, Bubble Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. All right, Bolo Buddies. So I had about 15 minutes before I was going to be at the Goodwill Bins, which opened at 9 a.m. So I saw this garage sale and I was like, it's close by. I'm going to hit this garage sale before I go to the bins. And oh my goodness, I am so glad I stopped because I found some amazing stuff at this sale. First off, I'm going to check out the plush, going to see if I can find any um, anything that I like. Over here, we've got these bigger things. Maybe I should have looked those up. I did not. If you guys see something I missed, please let me know down in the comments. This is cool. It's like a haunted house, but I didn't really want to ship it. I think it was just a handmade thing, but not 100% sure. So this table had some Christmas items on it. Everything was... It was a well put together garage sale. Um, I found some really fantastic stuff. So excited to share this with you guys. I was looking in here. These looked like Halloween items, but I think some of the dolls had been painted. So therefore, probably the resale value for those would not have been so great. All right, I did pick up this Pokemon plush. I paid $10 for it. I've got it priced at $64.99 on auction just trying to feel out the market. Unfortunately, one of the tags was cut off and it was a mixed lot of Toy Factory and I think Tommy brand. However, I did find this Lion Squishmallow and I also found this Cat Squishmallow. Those were a dollar each. I could not walk past those and leave those behind at a dollar each. So I paid up a little more than I wanted to for the Pokemon. was hoping there was gonna be something special in there, but I don't think there was. So more than likely, that will not get a bid, and I will put that back on a buy it now or best offer. So at this point, I'm looking for a box to put my items in because I am not finished shopping. Uh, again, just really, really great finds. And some things I bought, I really might need your help on because I'm not really sure if I listed them correctly. Correctly, I did pick up this. If you guys have never seen the Geo Tracks. The remote control, the train, and the remote controls can do pretty well. Some of the bigger stuff I usually just donate, but I will part them out. I did pick up this Simpsons set. I think that was either 50 cents or a dollar. So prices were really good. I grabbed this bag of toys. You all know that I love parting out toys. I did list that also. Um, the Winnie the Pooh and Tigger. They're like bath toys. These are Fisher Price Horses. Got those listed, decided to just lot those up. I could have sold them individually, but felt like lotting them up was the way to go. And there was another bag of farm animals that I picked up that I also listed. This was a bag of Legos. So I think it was 50 cents. And this right here, a few things I haven't got listed yet. The Legos I usually just pick up whenever I find them and I'm hang on to them and I put them in lots if they're not a set. I've got, uh, I know I have some mega blocks listed over on uh, Poshmark right now, some by the bag, just miscellaneous blocks. All right, I don't know, maybe I should have grabbed Mickey and Minnie here. I think they were Disney store if I remember correctly. I think they had those priced a little bit high, that's why I put those back. I do check out the mugs just to see if there's anything that stands out to me as something I should pick up. I do think that these people sold on eBay, but I also think that maybe they just sold in certain categories and don't know about some of the other bolo items, or maybe they just don't mess with bread and butter. I'm not really sure, but they did mention how much something was selling for on eBay when I brought something up, so... That's usually a good tell. These, I don't know, maybe I should have got those. They're like vintage or antique. I don't know how how far they date back. I think 100 years is considered antique, right? 
So they're probably not that old, but they're the old skates. I did put, pick up these round, uh, Crown Royal bags. I have heard people say that they can do pretty good with those. I'm just going to lot them. I think they had $4 on them, so I paid up a little bit for those. But going to see if I can sell them. There were some cool items here, but this stuff was priced kind of high. I walked out of here with a ton of stuff. And back to the Geo Tracks, um, I have a red train and a remote that I need to get listed. And that rabbit right there was a plush rabbit and it was a puppet. So for the Geo Tracks, I'm probably going to part out the figures. I haven't decided if I'm going to list some of the tracks separately or some of the houses. Um, I don't know if you call them houses, but the different stations for the track. I don't know if I'm going to list those or not. So trying to figure that out. If I don't list them, I'll eventually donate it after I pick through it and decide what I'm going to part out. All right. Looking over here. And I do find something towards the end of the video. And it's a bag of stuff. And I don't know if somebody pulled it out from under the table, but it wasn't priced. So I had to negotiate with him about the price of that. And I do pick up this octopus. It is a Build-A-Bear. It's pink. It is so cute. And it was 50 cents, you guys. It's a bread and butter. I was really hoping it was going to have higher comps than it did. Maybe should have got this Marge. Is that Marge or the sister? I don't know. One of the Simpsons. Probably should have got that one. And then those Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. I think those were supposed to look like the Tsum Tsums or I don't know what they're called. Maybe I should have got those as well. I'm back over here to this Halloween stuff. I'm just intrigued by it. I'm like, am I missing something? I don't think I was. I didn't end up pulling anything out of here, but I did go back and take a second look. I think those were just like a plastic. He was talking to me about these dolls, and I'm like, mm, I don't want to mess with those dolls. <laughs> I am checking out the games. I did grab these skates. Um, they're really heavy. I need to weigh them. I'm thinking they might be a good Poshmark item if they're under five pounds. So um, got to look into that still. Haven't got everything listed that I picked up yet, but definitely going to pull up some screenshots of the items that I have listed. All right, so we're going to go through this bag in its entirety when I get home. So stay tuned for that, but it is a bag of vintage and antique dolls. All right, here's my dog, and she is hanging out with her toy that Where Pigs Fly Farm sent her. It is this plush owl, and it squeaks. It's a dog toy. It is amazing, and I think she has more listed in her eBay store, so definitely go check out Where Pigs Fly Farm. It's a nonprofit. They have an, um, animals, and it is amazing. Uh, go check them out. And I'll have that link down below. All right, so this first doll, um, I still need to research this one. I'm really not 100% sure if that's handmade or what's going on with that. Look at my dog. She is so happy. She just carries that toy around. It's so funny. All right, I did list some of these that I could identify that had markings on the back. This one has like a really green eyes and a strange belly button. Um, I don't know if I show it or not but it's very, very weird. Uh, I don't know if it does anything. If anybody is familiar with this doll, what does the belly button do? It's like you push on it. It's so weird. But I was able to get that one listed. This here seems really old. Again, I think it's hand painted. Um, it sure looks like it. It's got the cute little outfit on. I am auctioning most of these because... I don't know where to start. So I'm just going to see if I get any bids. I know a lot of times these dolls are very long tail, but I know there's also diamonds in the rough. You know, like you find a needle in a haystack with some of these and they are worth some big money. But I don't think I have any of those. All right, let's see some clowns. If you don't like clowns, close your eyes. I know some people hate clowns. 
This one kind of has like a blow mold face and arms and it's interesting, but on the back, the person that collected these wrote out information on them, which, which helps me to understand a little bit about the item, but I don't know. Again, it's up for auction. We'll see what happens. I don't have super high hopes. I think he wanted like 20 bucks and I offered 15. I'm like, I just, I don't really, this is not my, my thing. These are not my type of things. I don't know enough about them. I'm horrible with keywords because I just don't know. And Google Lens does not help for things like this. I mean, it kind of does. It, it leads you in the right direction, but I was not having much luck finding exact items with Google Lens. This little doll is so cute. Um, I do have her listed, and she had Made in Japan or Japan on her back, so I just put that in the title. Figure maybe that'll help a little bit. These are pretty cool. I think they go on like a doll costume. So I went ahead and lotted these up thinking maybe somebody who does crafts or makes doll clothing, this would be a great item for them. Um, I've got it listed a little bit high. I do believe these to be vintage based on the age of everything else that I purchased with it. And they do have that like old, older look to them. Aged, I guess would be a good uh, word. Some of the stuff in here I ended up donating. Um, I just didn't want to mess with it. This doll right here, again, was marked on the back. I think I used Google Lens to find her. So she had on, I believe, original outfit. So she was a little easier to look up. Again, all the writing on the back of the original owner that collected the items. That's how they labeled all of their stuff so that they knew um, like when they got it, where they got it. Just, you know, information like that. And I think in the video, I'm actually reading it to you guys. So um, I decided to do a voiceover just so it all runs smooth together. Now there are some, um, I think I donated this. Maybe I shouldn't have, but I was being lazy. <laughs> um, if you guys are new to my channel, thank you for being here. Um, I'd love it if you would subscribe and hit that bell to turn on notifications. That will alert you when I put out new videos. I do tons of what sold videos where I show you what's selling on eBay and I have different formats that I use. I show you things that I've sold, things that other people have sold, and sometimes I research categories. So very educational based channel, but I am starting to do a lot more of like the Goodwill bins and different thrift with me videos also, but I will keep those educational and show you how I list things. There were two more clowns in there and these had like porcelain, I believe it is, face, hands, and feet, and I decided to lot those up together, the two clowns. And again, it's going to take the right person, probably going to be a long tail item. These are Madam, 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 I don't know how to say it, Madam Alexander dolls. They're the McDonald's toys, and there was, I don't know, 10 in here, so I decided to lot those up, and um, I'm going to sell those together as uh, one set. So those are listed. I might try an auction just because um, it's kind of a mixed lot. Some of them do better than others, and of course, if you can find them new in the package, but that is one McDonald's item that um, might be worth listing. Here's the two clowns. So like I said, I'm gonna sell those together. Most of these items I'm trying auction first, as I said, and I'm guessing they probably won't sell on auction and we'll go to a buy it now, but you just never know. I'd rather play it safe than sorry, right? Do you ever have something and you auction it or you put it on a buy it now and it sells like really fast and you're like, ooh, did I sell it too cheap? Well, if you like those types of videos, I have items that sold fast on eBay. I have videos like that that are what sold videos also. So be sure to check those out. All right, you guys. We are coming to the end of the bag here. Thank you so much for watching. Again, be sure to um, check out some of my other videos. There's going to be some popping up. I'll also have some linked down in the description and also in the comments. In the description, you can also find other uh, platforms that I sell on and other services I use to help with my business. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.